Now that you're done with your drawing, because in your model space everything is drawn scale 1 and 1, my text and my dimensions are set to annotative, so that means that as soon as I'm going to set up my sheet now, I'm going to scale it down for a specific viewport. So my floor plan I want like to have it in scale 1 and 100, and my site plan need to be 1 and 200. So to set up the sheet, you will see that at the bottom we've got the model tab. Then by default, if you start a new drawing, Caddy will supply you with two sheets. So I'm going to show you how to set up the first one. So if I go to sheet number one, and I zoom out a bit, you will see that top right hand side, it will display the paper size, as well as the printable area. Now that printable area is defined at the information which we get from your printer driver that you send it off to. So if I go right click on my sheet tab, and I go to my sheet setup, First thing that I'm going to show you is the printable area. So if I'm going to select a normal A4 printer, as you can see this is now HP laser jet. As soon as I'm going to say OK, have a look and see what happens with this printable area. If you say OK, you will see that it will differ. So from the start, make sure that you select the correct printer driver so that you can know that your title block and your viewports need to fit inside this plotable area. So you can give it a name. I'm going to call it PDF. My printer plotter that I'm going to make use of is a PDF 995. My paper size, I'm going to make use of an A2. And then as you can see my orientation is set to landscape. Paper units remain millimeter. And on a later stage I'm going to talk about the plot styles, how to set up your plot styles. Because carry supply with some sample plot styles. Style 1 there's some color involved. Mono is a black and white. Then we've got the plot scale. Now the scale always remains 1 and 1. 90% it remains 1 and 1. Because what you see on your paper, on your sheet, is what you want to send down to your plotter or your printer. Then on the right hand side is plot extents. By default it's set to sheet. And then miscellaneous, plot viewports first, and scale viewport line styles. So I'm going to say OK. And if I now want to zoom out, as you can see, on the top right hand side it displays my paper size, that's an A2, and the border itself is actually at the edge of my sheet. So now I'm going to add a title block. Now the title block itself, once again, you can create your own title block. If I go to insert, I can go to my T sheet. As you can see there's some samples that can supply you. If I'm going to say OK, you will see there's my title block. At any stage you can modify this title block. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to change the pen color to black. Then if I zoom in, this is not a watermark. At any stage you can edit text, you can select stuff, you can delete it. Let's go down to, let's say, client. Now, because my mouse button set up for double left click is edit text. Indicate the text and I'm going to say, let's call the client caddy. I'm going to say OK. As you can see, any stage you can edit the text. You can delete stuff, you can move stuff, you're not limited for creating your own title, title block. And then you can save your title block once you've done. You can add it to the list. So I would like to bring in logo. So on my left hand side, once again, I'm going to make use of insert picture. So if I click on insert picture, I can select a JPEG. And as you can see at the bottom right hand side, different types of JPEG or pictures that you can import. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to place my logo. Now this logo. You can resize it. As you can see, you've got grip points. I can grab the edge. I can make it smaller. Grip point in the middle is to reposition the image. So now I've got my logo. I've got my text. And if I want to save this title block for the future, I can just go to File, Save Adder, Export. And you'll see this option that says Add Sheet to Title Sheet Drawing. So if I click on that one, now I can say this is my new A2 carry title block. So I'm going to say OK. So next time I can just bring in that title block once my sheet is set up. Now to bring your viewport from the model space to your sheet, we've got more than one way to do it. So I'm going to start off with the quick and easiest way. Now first of all, as I mentioned, this is my floor plan. I would like that to be scale 1 and 100. So the quickest and the fastest way will be I can select the objects that I want to take to my sheet. I can right click and you will see there's an option that says Add to Sheet, Create Viewport. So if I click the option, clicks up, I've got two sheets. I'm going to take it to my PDF sheet. I'm going to say OK. 
Now, Katie will ask me for scale for viewport. So I'm going to say this particular one need to be 100. Remember, if it's set to auto fit, then it's not going to be to scale. Then you have to mention it on your sheet somewhere that the viewport is not to scale. But we want to work accurate, so my scale for viewport will be 100. My annotation scale is also 100. I can be more specific and say, right, create this viewport on a specific layer. If you work with layer groups, I can apply a layer group to this particular viewport as well. As you can see in the description. So I'm going to say OK. And can you give me a preview of my viewport? And I can place my viewport. So now I go back to my model space. Now I'm going to show you a second way of creating a viewport. Now the first one I've created by using a rectangle. If I go to my left hand side to view, in the sub column you will see that there's a command that's called object VP, define viewport area in model space. So if I click on the option, I've already covered the rectangle option, so now I, I'm going to make use of the circle. So if I click on the circle, Katie will ask me, enter the center of the circle. So I left click, starts the circle viewport, and I'll take it to the outside. Once again, ask me on what sheet I would like to place it. I'm going to say OK, and with this viewport, I would like to bring it in as 1 and 200. I'm going to say OK, and I can position my viewport. So that's how you take your stuff from your model space, creating a sheet and place your viewports.